Half an hour back, the Chief Minister and the DGP had done a press conference where they claimed the law and order is much better. These are all false allegations those are being raised. Both the Chief Minister and the Director General of Police, they want to hush up, they want to hush up the actual state of affairs. They want to suppress the actual figure. Each and every day, rape, gang rape, outraging the bodies to women, murder, theft, decoity, assuming, looting, incident taking place. I would like to know what is the rate of conviction of the IPC cases? Please clarify. Why this, there has been a spark in such sort of uh, incident in the state of Tripura? Why? What the Chief Minister and the DGP is claiming, that doesn't matter. But the fact of the matter is, people are insecure. Women are insecure. That is the real state of affairs that exists in Tripura. It has become, Chief Minister assured us of a medical hub. Chief Minister assured of an education hub. Rather, we are witnessing on the contrary. It's a hub of the criminals. It's a hub of the rapists. It's a hub of the antisocial. It's a hub of the drug mafias that exist in the state of Tripura. The Chief Minister has said, or, or in, in a threat mode, like he is going to open all the cases of previous government. Those, have, have if someone, if someone wants to prove that he is the big, biggest joker, how can I help him? Why are you are saying that? Because what is law? Law is common sense, application of mind and common sense. Once. A trial takes place. Once a verdict is pronounced, judgment is pronounced. Why the chief minister, even the chief minister's father, even can't reopen any sort of case? That is the, that is the law. He's speaking all nonsense, and people, and he's he, he's trying to achieve uh, taking the uh, advantage of the ignorance of the common people. He wants to prove that he's a hell of a great guy. He's a Big zero. There is a competition in between the previous chief minister and the present chief minister as to who speaks all bullshit. He's speaking all bullshit and all nonsense. Some uh, political violence is taken that case. He says those cases can be reopened. He's claimed that. He said verdict is pronounced. No, he says about the cases those have been harsher up. Those are yet to be uh, given any verdict also. I don't know whether such cases, he told Kuner case, he told murder case. Murder case, due to lack of evidence, if someone has been acquitted, he cannot reopen any case, number one. This is the law. He cannot act against the law. He has to act according, within the periphery of the law. Why is raising these issues? What is the reason? Reason is there is a squabble, and you know those assets are presently the assets of the BGP. Those criminal, murderer, hooligan, those who have burned the common people houses, those who have taken law in their own hand, they are the panchayat pradhan, they are the panchayat committee member, they are each elected representative, they are in charge of mandal, they are big shots of the BGP. Whom is he trying? He is trying to threaten his own party men. He is trying to threaten his own party men because there is a squabble in between the good ones and the bad ones, have and have not. He is in a thick soup. And if this continues, his days are numbered. Wait and watch, his days are numbered. He is going to face the same consequence as Mr. Biplav Kumar, the very short. Thank you.